There is another metal from the periodic table that can wreak havoc on certain parts of your body if not handled correctly. We are familiar with lead and mercury poisoning, which can happen over time. Cadmium is the same. Cadmium is a soft, silvery white metal, slightly harder than lead, but softer than gold at 2.0 on the hardness scale. Cadmium is located in group 12, period five of the periodic table, and its symbol is CD. Cadmium's atomic number is 48, which means it has 48 protons with an equal amount of electrons. It has a low melting point of 321 0.07 degrees Celsius or 609.93 degrees Fahrenheit, in which a lighter can easily melt it. Its boiling point is 767 degrees Celsius or 1413 degrees Fahrenheit. Cadmium was discovered by German chemist Friedrich Stromeyer in 1817. Cadmium production comes from impurities from zinc mining and is 0.1 part per million in the Earth's crust, making it quite rare. But around 25,000 tons of it is mined each year, primarily from China and Russia as its top producers. Current uses of cadmium are used in batteries, pigments, coating, nuclear fission, televisions, and lasers. Even though cadmium is a toxic heavy metal, it has, however, found its way into cheap jewelry, even today. Years ago, costume jewelry was composed mainly of lead, but in recent years, cadmium has replaced lead. It's like swapping one poison for another. Some states, like New York, California, and Minnesota, have restrictions or outright bans on cadmium jewelry. Cadmium is a toxic metal and has no known beneficial function to large animals, with the exception of some low toxicity cadmium compounds used in anti-cancer drugs. However, some microorganisms, like diatoms, need cadmium to survive. However, in complex animals like humans, cadmium is mainly absorbed through the kidneys when ingested. Over the course of a normal lifetime, the average human being consumes around 150 milligrams of cadmium through either contaminated food, inhalation, or by other forms of environmental contact. Further exposure comes from fossil fuels, fertilizers, metal production, and solid waste incineration. Small amounts of cadmium has also been found in bread, fruits, and vegetables, and may be responsible for breast and prostate cancer in people. The average person is exposed to natural amounts of cadmium every day by food, with the largest amounts of cadmium found in seafood, chocolate, mushrooms, and root plants like potatoes. Tobacco smoke also contains cadmium, as a tobacco plant absorbs cadmium from the surrounding soil. Another reason to not smoke. The minor symptoms of cadmium poisoning include abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. The most dangerous exposure of cadmium poison comes from inhalation of cadmium fumes and dust that causes fever, chills, nausea, headaches, fatigue, muscle aches, lack of appetite, shortness of breath, blood pressure changes, dizziness, and coughing. Further inhalation exposure can result in pulmonary edema or death. The dangerous limit of cadmium exposure in the air is nine milligrams per cubic meter. That is about nine sand grains per cubic meter. Increased exposure can also cause kidney disease, hypertension, and heart issues. If you think you have cadmium poisoning or suspect it, seek medical help immediately. Here I have a one troy ounce bar of cadmium bullion that I purchased through my go-to source, Luciteria Science. The cadmium bar you see here can be handled safely as long as it's inside this protective case. I hope you enjoy today's video on this potentially lethal toxic metal of cadmium. Thanks for watching.